Your brain is like a computer, and just like a computer, if you label your memory files, it makes it easier to recall. A technique to help label the files you store in memory is called memory mnemonics. In the case of tracing blood flow around the body for systemic circulation, this is a helpful method to use. But before we get into this, you need to be familiar with the pulmonary circuit and the basic structure of the heart. You will study the heart structure in more detail in the next unit. So let's start with the basic structure of the heart. The human heart is divided into four chambers the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. The function of the right side of the heart is to receive deoxygenated blood from the body through the vena cava and send it to the lungs to be oxygenated. So spent blood is delivered again to the right atrium from the vena cava. It is then pumped from the right atrium into the right ventricle which pumps the blood into the pulmonary trunk to the pulmonary arteries to be carried to the lungs where carbon dioxide is exchanged for oxygen. Freshly oxygenated blood is then returned from the lungs to the left atrium by the pulmonary vein. The oxygenated blood is then pumped from the left atrium to the left ventricle and from the left ventricle to the aorta which carries the oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. Blood flow through the body will always enter this part of the circuit. Let's look at an example. Suppose you are asked to trace the path of blood from the arm to the head. Well, what I know is that blood flows from the arm through the subclavian vein to the vena cava, which empties into the right atrium to the right ventricle to the pulmonary trunk which splits into the pulmonary arteries delivering blood to the lungs. And then we have the pulmonary vein carrying blood from the lungs to the left atrium to the left ventricle to the aorta which finally carries blood through the carotid artery to the head. Again, the pulmonary circuit and the heart are always the same for the path of blood. The question though is, how can I make learning the names of some of the major arteries and veins in the body easier? My suggestion is to use a memory mnemonic like ICE MAKERS. ICE MAKERS stands for the major arteries and veins in the body and is an easy label to aid with memory recall. The memory mnemonic stands for the major arteries and if I can remember the major arteries I can connect them to the body parts they service and their associated veins. It works like this. I stands for the iliac artery which carries blood from the aorta to the legs and the corresponding vein is the iliac vein which carries blood back to the vena cava. C stands for the carotid artery which carries blood from the aorta to the head and the corresponding vein is the jugular vein which carries blood from the head to the vena cava. M is the mesenteric artery which branches off the aorta to carry blood to the small intestine and we then have the hepatic portal vein which carries blood from the small intestine to the liver followed by the hepatic vein which carries blood from the liver to the vena cava. A stands for the aorta which is the largest artery in the body and carries blood out of the heart to the body. The corresponding vein is the vena cava which is the largest vein in the body carrying blood back to the heart. C stands for the coronary artery which carries blood from the aorta to the heart muscle and the corresponding vein is called the coronary vein which carries blood back to the vena cava. R stands for the renal artery which carries blood from the aorta to the kidneys and the renal vein carries blood from the kidneys back to the vena cava. And finally, 
S stands for the subclavian artery, which carries blood from the aorta to the arm. And the corresponding vein is also called subclavian, although it's the subclavian vein which carries blood from the arm to the vena cava. And that is systemic circulation. Now you need to combine your memory mnemonic for systemic circulation with your knowledge of the pulmonary circuit, and you should be able to trace the path of blood around the body.